deaths fall from overdose down by 5%. The state is attributing those numbers to its harm reduction program. RWSBT 22's Kylan Hall has been looking into this, joins us now from the live desk. Kylan, what has changed over the last year? Well, Michigan has distributed over 1 million kits of naloxone, an opioid reversing nasal spray that can treat opioids and opioids contaminated, contaminated with other lethal drugs like xylazine. Now, the Department of Health and Human Services says this this is the time to double down on public awareness of specific contaminants in Michigan. The opioid settlement funds are expected to pay out over $800 million to the state of Michigan over the next 16 years. Part of that money has made the nasal spray Narcan available to first responders and the general public. We're looking at ways to prevent drug addiction. So prevention is the first pillar. Then we want to help people get into treatment and stay in recovery and really meet people where they are in regards to those needs. Dr. Bagdasarian says Narcan reverses opioids like heroin, morphine, and fentanyl. And even though it may not work against some street drugs, health officials are still recommending the Narcan in an overdose case because often drugs are combined. But what we're seeing is a lot of street drugs are now contaminated with things that aren't opioids. They're contaminated with things like xylazine and now a new contaminant called metatomidine. These are veterinary tranquilizers. They're not approved for human use, and they're not reversed by things like naloxone. Another key element of preventing overdose is being able to detect exactly what drug a person might be about to consume. People are able to just go and pick up things like naloxone or even testing strips so that if they are using street drugs, they can test their, um, their drugs for those really deadly contaminants like fentanyl and xylazine. In Berrien County, the decrease they've seen shows just how common it is for an overdose death to involve an opioid. In 2022, we saw about 85 to 90 percent of overdose re related deaths included in opioid. Um, last year in 2023, which is the most recent data we have, it was about three out of four, so around 65 percent of the overdose related deaths were related to an opioid use. And even though one drug is being targeted, Guy Miller says the number of overall overdose deaths is still high. The state's saying we've seen a big decrease, uh, but we're not out of the woods. Our data says, yes, we've had a decrease in opioid-related deaths, but we're still seeing substance use disorder as an, as an issue within our community. Now, Indiana is also seeing a decline in opioid-related drug overdose deaths. We will be digging deeper into those numbers later this week, right here on First in the Morning. At the live desk, Kylan Tall, WSBT 22 News, and we'll be right back.